edition of Coach's Corner with Jim Currier and Paul Anacone. And Paul, today we're discussing footwork. We've been talking so much about how there are different styles of strokes. Are you saying there's different styles of footwork? Yeah, and we've talked a lot about those different styles of strokes and different strategies. Well, the same thing goes for footwork. You have to know what kind of player you are in order to gear your footwork towards that. And we're going to talk a little bit about three different kinds of footwork today. Here's a look at Roger Federer. This is proactive footwork where he does not want to leave the baseline and everything for him is about cutting the court off. It's always about moving diagonally into the court to take time away from the opponent. This is the quintessential proactive footwork. Do not back up, move forward. Look at Roger, a little block here. He gets that ball not because of his speed, it's because of his footwork. Look at where he moves. He's already inside the baseline and he's moving before Nick Kyrgios even hits this angle. Roger Federer is a master at this. He's a master at finding and understanding which way to go early. This man is a little bit different. Rafael Nadal can back up. He can take time and he can dare you with his speed from the back of the court. He can move backwards and cover laterally and wear you down and then come up with the shots. This is a little bit more reactive. Look at Rafa back here going side to side. He's not afraid to give up the space. Why? Because he dares his opponent. This suits his style of play. It's all about your style of play. That's how you want to try to move. Rafa's style of play is daring people. It can wear you down. It's oppressive, and it can be offensive when it needs to be, but he knows how to manage it. And look at him here. He is absolutely relentless, and he puts doubt in your minds very early. The third kind is Novak Djokovic. He's a hybrid between the two. Tends to stand in between where Rafa and Roger stands, cuts the court off with his length. He dares you with his width. Look at him reach out there. Does the same on the backhand. The open stance backhand doesn't back up quite as much as Rafa, but he makes the court small because of his width. He doesn't move too far deep, he uses that width to dare his opponents, can change directions at will, and he can come forward and will come forward, but it's on his terms, on his conditions. And again, this is about understanding what kind of player you are. It's not about you have to move this way. And those three guys are so good at knowing their games, they match their footwork. I just have to ask, before we get to Jim, Last night, did Roger Federer's footwork, was that part of his problem? Well, I think so, because Jim talked about it on the show, right? He said Roger started serving and volleying all the time. That's not what Roger generally does. Some of it's conditions, and some of it was the fact that the guy on the other side was playing great tennis. So he changed that tactic and actually went to an extreme of what he does, which is moving into the court. What do you think about all this? Well, I think about one thing when I think about great footwork. Those are all three wonderful examples of I think there's a nation that's the best pr practitioner of footwork. And I think about a drill that I saw someone that Paul and I played against, uh, Emilio Sanchez, do with his coach years and years ago. Spain is the country I'm talking yep. about. And Emilio used to do this drill where his coach would stand and just hit volleys and he would move in and out of the court, in and out of the court. And the Spanish are the best at recognizing when they need to give up space and when they need to take space. And Nadal certainly does it um, as well as anyone we've seen. And you had Jose Higueras as a coach for a long he time. He taught me that very, very simply. Did he do the ball drill we too? He did a ton of in and out of the court drills. Tons. Yeah. All right, what does Hawkeye show us? Well, it's interesting. It just kind of puts a little period on the end of the sentence. Look at how these guys move. And this is an average contact point. This makes a ton of sense. Roger, the cl closest. Novak, a little bit closer in. But just to show what they do from here and what's really interesting, Ooh, I like that's that. the move. That I like is that. the move Federer does. That Cut into makes the, the court. court small, and that's what gives you small targets, that's what takes your time, and that's one huge element to make better or great. But what does Novak do? Novak just stretches it with width. He doesn't really have to back up. He is elastic, he is long, he can take balls on the rise and does not have to back down. That's Novak's strength. And what does the great Rafael Nadal do? He does <laughs> inverted Federer, right? He can back up and then cover the court with width from the back of the court because he creates safety, arc, and trajectory on those ground strokes and dares you to beat him when he's back there. So very interesting, great work from Toby and Hawkeye down there and Duggan, you guys did a great job. But I love that illustration. I did too. Shows exactly why those guys are great. All right, top three footworkers. Well, I'm going to use the word footwork, okay? That's, what, that's what's a little bit different. I went with Fed because of the offensive footwork. And I went with the great 
Jimmy Connors. Okay. Because he's the all court for active feet. And Rafael Nadal, he's the guy at the back of the court that does the most. Uh -huh. I sure can disagree, so, Jim. What do you got? Um, I went with Nadal as my number one because I love the way that he uses, ah, he uses yeah. his feet to get an optimal position for everything. David Ferrer is also an amazing practitioner of always being in the place to give himself the highest percentage chance to make the shot. Novak, I think just because of the uniqueness uh, of his style, very hard to replicate his flexibility, his ability to hit great shots when he's sliding. But his defense for me is the best that, that I've seen in men's tennis. And, and uh, I think there will be a lot of juniors out there trying to work on their flexibility as a result of that. But they should also take a really good look at the Spanish method of using your feet to make for better math on the court. Can I also just throw in there is a distinction between footwork and foot speed. But, but, uh, that, right? I mean, Serena Williams, when her footwork is off, her foot speed still keeps her in. This is 100%. What Paul's talked about is 100% about efficiency. Yes. You know, so even players who don't have great foot speed can be great on with footwork. Correct. They just may not be quite as fast as someone else. All right. We're going to take another break. That was fun. That was great, Paul.